Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I'm gonna to look at, I'm gonna show you some cards that are autograph cards. And I used to have a lot of autograph cards. I, you know, I traded them off. Uh, and it gets to a point that, you know, I, I collected a lot of the Hall of, Hall of Fame postcards, the press steel cards and things like that. And, um, you know, it gets to a point that, you know, how many, uh, Al Kaline autographs do you need, you know? And so I, I sold some of those. And, you know, other other players, I mentioned Al Kaline because I, I, I had Mr. Kaline signed an autograph rookie card. And, you know, I, I kind of regret selling that now, but, you know, you gotta s sell things so you can get better stuff. So that's what I did. But there was a few, you know, I still have some autograph cards and, and, and a lot of them mean, mean stuff to me or they're just nice cards. I just remember meeting these players and, um, Anyway, they have meaning to me, so I'd, I'd never sold some of these, and I just wanted to give you a, a look at some of the cards that I thought were, were kind of nice and, and just mean something in my collection. And and uh, Camilo Pascual, you know, I talk about my dad a lot. You know, passed away last year, but uh, you know, we were we were born in Cuba, and this was my dad's uh, favorite player. He was born in Havana, that's where I was born, and that's where we lived. Uh, and we were able, I was able to get his autograph. Actually, my sister worked with a family member of Camilo Pascual. I think it was Camilo's daughter. And um, I gave her the card and she, she got an autograph. And my dad loved this card. So it was one of the cards that, you know, those, these are not expensive cards. They're just cards that mean something to me and I like. And, you know, in the old days, I mean, look how nice he, they signed their name. You could read it, you know, and that's what I like about some of these older autographs. So this is just a sentimental one, Camilo Pascual. And the next one also is, to me, sentimental because um, this was my favorite player growing up, you know, when I, not growing up, but more when I got back into the hobby. This was my favorite player. And it's Jose Canseco. And uh, he was at a signing here in Miami. He was, you see his home in Miami, Florida. And it was at a, um, a record place called Specs Records, no longer here. But anyway, uh, back in the, when, the, when he was a rookie, and I remember him playing here because he played in Miami and he played, uh, uh, you know, in high school and stuff. When he was a rookie, you know, this was his big card. I mean, this, this card was huge back in the old days. This was like his number one card. Everybody was looking for this card. And uh, he was at a signing at Specs Records back in 86 or 87, I don't recall, but it was, he was still basically a rookie. And um, I went over there and uh, it was quite, quite a long line, but it was a free autograph. So I was able to get him to autograph this. And at the time, you know, he was you know, still, I consider him one of the, the best players. Unfortunately, he, you know, he, he did the, uh, steroids but other than that I mean this guy was an incredible player the first guy to hit 40 40 and so I, I was able to meet him get him to sign this card I remember I had three of these cards and in those days you know you really didn't get autographs too much just imagine in, in 86 87 uh, a lot of people didn't autograph cards but uh, so I went through and, and I picked out the one that was like the worst centered because I didn't want to ruin my perfectly centered cards of Conseco, and I used this one to sign. You see how off-centered it was. It was like my worst copy, but now it's my favorite because it has the uh, autograph, and I remember the day. You know, I remember talking to Jose at that time. Very nice guy. He's always been a nice guy, actually. So that's another one that means stuff to me. So I kept uh, Conseco. Um, another one that I personally got autograph, which is this one, which is Virg Vir Virgil Trucks. Uh, Virgil Trucks was signing for, I think it was $5 or something like that. And uh, I was at this, doing this actual card show back th at this time in the 80s. And I looked through my stack and I found this card and I figured I'll get his autograph and when I went to talk to Virgil Trucks what a nice man 
and, and what a beautiful autograph, how he autographed that for me. What, but what a nice, nice guy. I remember talking to him and, you know, he saw the card, he says, oh, wow, you know, because it was an old card, you know. And I remember him looking at it and looking, where am I gonna sign it? He says, I know where I'm gonna sign this card. And he signed it right along his leg there, perfectly. And I, I said, wow, that looks beautiful, Mr. Trucks. I thanked him so much. And I never, I won't sell this card. It's just a beautiful autograph, the way he signed that. And it's just a nice card. I mean, it's a beater, but to me, it's one of my nice experiences getting autographs. So it's one of my, uh, my keepers. I'll keep that in my PC. And the, the last one I want to show you today is my favorite one. And I didn't get this card autograph myself, but I always wanted an autograph of Minnie Minoso. So when I went to the National, one of my goals was to get a Minnie Minoso autograph. And initially, to be honest with you, I was looking for the 1952 Tops autographed. And there was one or two there at the National, but they wanted so much money. And then when I just saw this one here, the 53 Bowman, which is really, I love this set, one of my favorite sets. When I saw this card, I said, this is the one I'm getting. It's the way that he autographed this card, right on the bat. I've shown this card before. I keep showing it because I love this card. It's, it's really now become my favorite autograph card. I just love the pose. I love him there, how he is holding that bat and how he signed that card right along that bat. It's just beautiful, you know. I just can't get over that autograph. It's nice and clean. It's just a beautiful pose. So I just love this card, one of my favorites now. I got it at the National. I'm so glad I got it there because I've never seen it this card like sign an autograph like this on this bat so anyway guys wanted to give you a look at uh, some of my favorite autograph cards that I have left in my collection I have a lot of autograph stuff I'm sure you guys have seen my videos the press steel autographs tons of those I have a lot of photos and a lot of different types of autographs so you know it's sometimes you know I, like I had a, a lot of Jose Canseco few of few of his autographs you know how many do I need I just maybe kept a couple of them and sold the rest to get better stuff but um, you know I'm just glad that uh, I kept these these are some of my favorites so I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos I really really truly appreciate and I appreciate all the comments that are left, you know, it's just, you guys are like friends to me. I really appreciate, you know, you telling me your experiences and me trying to share my experiences with you guys. Uh, hopefully I could meet some of you guys and my, some of my subscribers and some of my viewers. I really, really would love to meet you guys. I will be at the National, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to get a chance to meet most of you there. So everyone have an awesome day. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Thank you for watching.